Hi guys, and welcome to week two of our Christmas adventure. Now, I wonder if any of you have started making your nativity scenes. Last week, you would have created the stable and some of the sleeping animals. This week, it's the time to make Mary, Joseph, and the donkey. Maybe that will give you a clue to the next part of our story. But before we get there, let's light our second candle. This week's candle is called the Bethlehem Candle and marks the journey that Mary and Joseph made from their home in Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. This was a very long journey. Days of walking, sleeping under the stars with no cars, no planes and nowhere to stay when they finally made it. But maybe this was, well, the easy bit of the journey. Maybe the hard bit was having a baby or raising a child or seeing their son rejected as he grew up. But they knew God had a plan and they knew they had a part to play. But most of all, they knew God loved them. They had faith that God was at work and it was that faith in a good God that helped them find their way to the stable. Let's find out more in today's Bible story. One step, two step, three step, four. Mary and Joseph can't take another step more. Traipsing to Bethlehem, wishing to be anywhere else instead. So far from Nazareth and even further from bed. To be counted by Caesar and to pay all their taxes, following the moon as it wanes and it waxes. When Mary said, Joe, quick, the baby is coming. So on every door he could find, Joseph was drumming. Knock, 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 with all the faith he could muster, though the response Joseph got was rather lacklustre. No room in the inn was the response he received. The doors slammed in his face, left him rather aggrieved, till the final knock found them a place safe from danger, a place filled with straw, with animals and a manger. We've just heard about faith and the long walk that Jesus' family had to face before he was born. And we're going to read a little bit about that now in Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. At that time, Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Quirinius was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself, each to their own hometown. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in cloths, and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them to stay at the inn. This is some time now for you as a family to think about some of these questions and maybe share some of your answers together. Have you ever found something so hard that you wanted to give up? Did you keep going? How did you keep going? What helped? What do you think helped Mary and Joseph keep going in this story? And when things get tough, what might you want to say to God in those times? I wonder, would you ask him for anything? We're going to close this video with a time of prayer together. Feel free to close your eyes and to say amen at the end if you agree. Father God, would you give us the faith to keep going, whatever we might be facing in this week that might be difficult for us. Thank you that you are with us. Help us to trust you today. Amen.